Hello and welcome back to Bournemouth RC. Uh, so we've been out for a bit of a bash over the weekend. Um, pleased to say that the Creighton is fully running, uh, fully operational. Um, absolutely chuffed with it, had two really hard bashes and the second one was at the skate park and took some proper nasty landings. Um, good news is I haven't broken it, um, not that I know of yet anyway. Uh, the bad news is I have bent the chassis and I have bent the rear tower and I'll show you a couple of photos of those now. So today we're going to do a strip down, um, check that nothing's broken. Um, I've got a little bit of duct tape and stuff to, stuck to some of it. It's actually come off from the shell where I need to redo the shell. Um, but what I'm going to do is strip it all down quickly um, and then show you how to straighten your chassis and your rear tower. Um, so I'm going to do the, the strip down quickly uh, and then I'll come back to you and we'll have a look at how to straighten the tower and the chassis. Okay, so now we've got everything off, you can actually see there's a slight bend going up here and then there's a negative bend going in there. Um, so I'll take the rear tower apart first and then I'll show you how to straighten that. Okay, so now we've got everything apart. Um, the good news is I haven't actually broken anything apart from one little bolt. Uh, that was the rear wing mount. Um, so that's broken. Um, this has got a lovely bow in it. Um, and as you can see, it nicely rocks. Now, it's worth noting that two of the screws actually, from the bottom here, had actually pulled through a little bit. Um, now they did thread out the plastic side, so I don't know whether they actually just worked loose rather than pulled through. But if they um, haven't got very good threads when they go back in, I might just put a longer bolt through and a nut on the other side because I do have some lying around. Um, so only one broken bolt, not a big deal, got loads of spare bolts. Um, nice little bow in there. I'm thinking now that I can actually get that pretty straight um, and I don't think it's going to be too hard. Um, now, if you had more of a bow than that, I would suggest that you heat this up before you do bend it back because if not, you might crack it. Uh, I'm going to try and give it a go without heating it up actually, I don't think it needs it, it's not quite bent enough. Um, the chassis, so as you can see um, with the chassis I can actually get that underneath at the end there where it's come up. So it needs to bend down from here and then back up from the end there. Um, now this actually 
isn't as hard as you would think. So all I normally do is where it needs to bend down, line it up with the edge of your bench. And work that back straight and that's pretty good there to be fair. Um, it doesn't take much at all. And there we go. So that is now reasonably straight. So all I've got to worry about now is this little flick up at the end here. Um, now what I do for that Lay a hammer under the end. Now, you could just try pushing it straight, but it's probably not going to happen. So get that hammer in reasonably close to where that bend is. And slowly start to work your way, tapping it out. If needs be, turn it over. Set that up there where you want that. Slowly working your way straight. What I'm going to do quickly first of all though, is remove every screw that I've put down everywhere before I lose it. Okay, so with that little bit of hammering, that is now back to dead straight. Now, obviously, these aren't the strongest chassis in the world. Well, they are. To be fair, they're really, really tough. Designed for um, what they're meant to be designed for within a budget. Um, you could have really expensive chassis on these, and I do love the look of some of the nice aftermarket chassis, which I will be getting soon. But I'm actually quite pleased that you can give this one a hell of a bash. It does bend a little bit. Come back, take a few screws out, straighten it up, and off you go. Um, so that chassis, now absolutely dead on where it was. Now, um, you might notice that I've got an old chopping board here that's got a bit of a groove taken out of it. And it's actually proved really, really handy to sit that little dimple in underneath the chassis. Like that. Like that. And then when you hit it, you can hit it flat. Um, so that now... Really, really happy, nice and flat. So, now onto this. Now this is gonna be a little bit tougher because it is a bit thicker. I'm not gonna go nuts with it, just gentle hits to start with. Okay, so as you just saw then, um, simply start off by lining it down, nice little taps over it um, until you eventually get it reasonably flat with the bottom there. And then once you've done that, always find it handy, find a big lump hammer with a nice flat surface to get the finishing touches off, enough hammer on top and go over. Now it does mark the alley, uh, I'm not going to lie about that, it does mark the alley, um, but rather than buy enough one, um, I can just go ahead with this and obviously this side was quite a bit more bent so i have given it a bit of a beat in there and it has marked the alley quite a lot now once you've got it all on you're not really going to notice that um so that's back, now back nice and straight okay that is now ready to put back on so really really simple job um a couple of hammers and a, and a decent ish table this is only an old desk but you can get it nice and straight ready to use again Okay, so what we're going to do now, chuck it all back together. Okay, so we're all back together now, ready for another bash. Um, 
it was actually quite easy i uh, managed to get the rear tower straight um the rear tower is quite thick so you do have to give that a bit of a bash um the chassis is perfectly straight um i did break one rear linkage on one of the arms so i quickly chucked that on there when i was putting it back together um that was all i broke actually in a screw in the wing mount now my wing mounts wing mount is pretty bent um it's still holding the wing on there absolutely fine it's not broken or cracked in any way it's just quite badly bent at some point i will get enough one but at the moment it's holding up fine so the bashing last weekend uh all i really did was just break one of them um and i have i've got loads of these lying about so it's not an issue um so that's it from born farsi tonight we will have some videos coming up um some more bash videos um we've got all sorts of stuff coming on the way i'm actually starting to get some requests now now i've changed all the bearings on my um uh, my crating already um but people are asking for little videos about how to change the bearings so i'm going to do a little bit of a mini series um showing you how to change all the wheel bearings the steering bearings the diff bearings and all that sort of stuff um coming up soon so i will do them in little stages um so check out them if you're thinking about doing your bearings it'll give you a bit of an idea of how to do it the wheel bearings can be a little bit tricky um so i've got some good little tips for them as well um, so that's it from Bourne Farsi tonight. Thank you very much.